Welcome to Baby Ife Can Cook. Now, let me show you how to make this very delicious and very easy Nigerian stew. You will be shocked. Now, first and foremost, to make a Nigerian stew, always ensure that your red bell pepper, or what they call your weak or tatashi, and the onion and tomatoes, they are equal. The ratio of the red bell pepper and the tomatoes must be equal. All the red bell pepper will be more than the tomatoes. And you blend these ingredients together. You must put garlic and onions and ginger. Do so. And then, you, of course, your scotch bonnet. Now, you blend this thing together, this ones together to make a paste. In other parts, you put in sliced onions and garlic repeat sliced onions and garlic fried together and they had your tomato paste now fry this tomato paste until the color changes okay and then you had your tomato mixture made up of tomato tatashe and um, um garlic and um, um ginger of course onions is there as well now you, you stir everything together now in this point you're allowed to boil cover you could cover it or just leave it open and allow it to boil very fry very well now if it's um bringing out bubbles like you know you are you putting more oil allow it to fry it to this point so it looks like this if it's not looking like this if you're not ready like to fry it well it looks like this and then after this you had your meat and the meat stock okay this meat stock is frozen so that's why it's just like that you stir together again and allow it to cook add more water if it's too thick at this point okay add just little water to make it uh, to get the texture you want and then allow to fry again until it gets to this and look at the oil is is enjoying swimming on top of the um sauce already you see and let's stir together again now you taste for salt I know now if you realize I did not put salt or anything because my meat stock already sorry my chicken stock already has all the seasoning I want okay and this is what we have delicious